Frankenstein's got a journal. Ash, is that explain it? What? While stuck in the house? Elena side to Damon? Huh? Can I have your attention? Yeah. Good. Now let's talk about vampires. Let's go. <laughs> Season 5. Hear me out. At Rebecca's Kaga with Elena and friends, taking shots like Jordan. Connor, that is, in the paint like Shaq. Fix it in post, you remember when we drove coast to coast. Driving to a lake, Cavalier, and a U-Haul, even though that car was too small. Whipping around the Grand Canyon, trying not to fall in. Even when we broke, we were still ball in. By the bay, listen to Frank Ocean. Pour some coffee, I'll see you in 10. Just get back to you. I'll do whatever you want. Mo money, mo problems, but I'm counting in the sweet spot. PD's on the track when the beat's hot. Let's talk about vampires. Hello, welcome to The Vampire Diaries, a The Vampire Diaries podcast where a guy is watching the <laughs> series for the first time with a super fan who has seen every episode. I'm the Chitzeriler PD, let's just say I put the PD in Van PD, but please call me Pete and I'm here with my co-host and co-parent Ash. That was terrible. <laughs> Terribly good. Don't do that again. When I, um, I was... I had to record a scratch voiceover for mm-hmm. a television show that I worked on. Mm-hmm. And um, I couldn't just be like, hello, hey, <laughs> this is what we're doing right now. So I had, I really had to be like, you had to enunciate. T- Timmy is in the building with. The <laughs> candlestick is not a clue, but no, I could. You can't, I, you can't say what it really. I was. can't say what it really was, but Timmy is in the building with the candlestick, and Jennifer. I liked hearing was you murdered. Do your um, voiceovers, and then me and the boys would try to say the little voiceovers that you were saying <laughs> to each other. Mm-hmm. Um, also, not to give anything away, hopefully, but. The voice in which I was writing for was a sassy woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I would, you know, that's the kind of stuff I was saying. Yeah, it was funny. Jim didn't think this was going to happen, mm-hmm. girl. Or, you know, <laughs> I don't know. That's not a good example, but. Well, because you can't be specific. If you can be specific, it'd be really good. Yeah, sometimes I had to throw in a. Honey. All right. Just <laughs> use your imaginations, <laughs> listeners. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I'm Ash. Hello, We Ash. got Pete. Ash. I don't have any vampire news. <laughs> Ash, the uh, episode's title tonight is, uh, oh, also Thursday recording. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. All good, all good. It's still Bloodthirsty Thursday. <laughs> Ash, have you, uh, so the title of... The Vampire Diaries episode is The Cell. Mm -hmm. Have you seen The Cell? No, but I have learned about cells in science class. Oh, tell me all about them. Mm -hmm. Yep, so there's um, mitosis, mitose, meiosis, me ovaries. (laughs) Those are different types of cell splitting. Mm -hmm. There's um, the mitochondria, of course. The Golgi bodies are favorite. They always say sex sells, Ash. Uh huh. There's cell walls. Um, mm-hmm. You said mitochondria? Yeah, that's the first one they said. Cell membrane? S- cell membrane. Insane yeah. in the cell membrane? At Golgi bodies again? <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I used to work out there in LA. <laughs> <laughs> that was more than I thought I would be able to say about cells. It costs like $500 a month. Golgi bodies. <laughs> There's one down on Venice. <laughs> <laughs> have you watched The Cell? I actually have a story about trying to watch The Cell. You got to try to watch it? <laughs> yes, because it was rated R, restricted for those under the age of 17. How old were you, young I people? was under the age of 17. Had a whole crew go up to the movie theater. You did this, I feel like, more often than you should have. Like, if I went to the movie theater under 17 to try to see a movie and couldn't get in, I would have stopped trying. I feel like you did it more than once. I did do it more than once. Um, Sometimes you were lucky. We bought tickets for a different movie, and we all walked into the cell (laughs) and didn't get very far... Like, I don't even think the lights had gone down or whatever. Then we got kicked out of <laughs> the cell and had to go to the stupid movie we had bought tickets for. <laughs> the Replacements. Oh. Starring Keanu Reeves, I think. Yeah, about, like, a football team. Mm-hmm. 
that had to replace their players. And I we know were, way more about the replacements than I do know about the cell. And we were like, this sucks. We wanted to see the cell. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. Yeah. Well, we got kicked out for a specific reason that I will not share on mic, but I, I'll tell you if you remember me. I, if you remember to I, tell me. I will remember you. I will try to remind you. <clears throat> so the cell, Tarsim Singh directed it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You started spouting <laughs> off all these facts. J-Lo, Vincent D'Onofrio. Wait, was it Vincent D'Onofrio? I think it was Vince Vaughn, actually. Don't even ask me. Well, Ooh, I haven't yelled this whole time until I sat down at this Vince, mic. Vince Vaughn and Vincent D'Onofrio should play bros mm. in, a, in a movie. Um, we have pug snores going on. And then do you have this, like, phenomenon? Whenever I am in an exercise class and we're, like, stretching or doing different stuff, it always makes me yawn every time I go to exercise class. And I'm saying this because I keep yawning now. Yawning. Um, I haven't been to an exercise class. And what was the other thing? Like when you're like, oh, what do you feel like you're stretching or warming up or anything? I don't stretch or warm up. I <laughs> hit the ground running. You just start immediately. I this morning I went to the gym and ran on the treadmill. Just boop 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 boop, boop and I'm off. <laughs> okay. Um, but yes, no, I do yawn at the gym because you're intaking extra oxygen. Oh, I always feel like it's because I'm, like, relaxed. Like, is it because I'm so relaxed and I'm stretching and I'm, like, just focused on, like, moving my body that makes me yawn a lot? But you're saying it's because that, of that, more ax- um, oxygen? That could be your reason. <laughs> I don't know. But, like... I'm always yawning. Like, you, I, even in a dance class, like a ballet class where you have to be, like, really, like, together and listening and you have, like, certain etiquette. Mm-hmm. I would get in trouble for yawning. They'd be like, what, you need to leave? This, am I boring you? Oh my gosh, I'm like, that's aggressive. Yeah, ballet is aggressive. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I'm just like, I'm just comfortable. <laughs> like, I don't know. Mm. That's what I always thought, but maybe it's maybe it's not as intellectual as I was thinking. I don't, I don't know if it's intellectual or what, but when I would be playing basketball, you do a big yawn. Mm. All right. And then you breathe in all the dust and you're coughing for hours. Maybe I'm yawning more because am I talking more and breathing more oxygen? Who knows? I don't know. Maybe you're just bored by the boring teacher. No, I'm thinking. And, and you're disrespecting them. No, I'm talking about right now too. Oh, but maybe it's because like the first time I'm sitting down. Maybe so. Mm-hmm. All right, random. <laughs> Ash, put on your sweater because we're in the cold open. <laughs> Ash, we're in the Bros Mansion. It's 1953. Mm-hmm. A era we haven't seen. June 11th. Mm. A maid is dusting the old television set. <laughs> Damon is looking for Joseph Salvatore, the current owner of the house, like they had an uncle, nephew. Zach. Zachary. Did What did you think about Damon's 50s look? He didn't look 50s. He looked regular. <laughs> he looked a lot like how he normally... Well, he normally wears a leather jacket. His hair is usually kind of long. Like, that's just already what the style was in the 50s. Like, if he was doing greaser kind of look. Mm-hmm. He's, yeah, he's, that's kind of his, his main vibe. He does exposition with Joe. They're waiting on Stefan. Joseph Salvatore stabs Damon with some vervain, but Damon... But Damon stabs him in the neck with glass. Yeah. <laughs> a guy walks over. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be his doctor from now on and gives him more vervain. It looks like Maxfield, I said. Mm-hmm. And now, in the present, Maxfield is giving Damon vervain in jail. How history repeats itself. <laughs> uh... Damon is replacing Jesse as Maxfield's test subject. I know. If only Damon hadn't gotten involved with Maxfield in the in the second place, not first place, because the know. second time around. If only those ladies hadn't wanted to take biology with him or whatever. Mm-hmm. Catherine is now writing in her journal. Mm-hmm. This is not a vampire diary. This is a human journal. It's a... Katerina Patrova Gurnal. <laughs> yes. She's alive. Stefan saved her from killing herself, but she's on suicide watch. 
She doesn't like journaling. It doesn't make her want to live. <laughs> I like that Ste- we don't have the scene, but I like how there was some sort of interaction between Stefan and Catherine. He's like, you know what, Catherine? No, it's going to make you feel better if you write down all your feelings. Like, mm-hmm. look at all these diaries that I have over the years. I mean, some he's burned, you know? He's right. Like well, I'd be like, how, how'd that work out for you? We're still in the <laughs> midst of your issue. I know. But I, I kind of wish we had that scene where we could see him, like, giving this advice to Catherine. And then she was like, okay, I guess I will, whatever. Yeah, that happened between eps. You know, I bet, like, in the writer's room of this show, they had to have, like, up on the wall, yes, we do still need diaries (laughs) in this show. Yeah, don't forget. (laughs) We can't just abandon it. It's in the name. LJ cares about it. Maybe they need, like, one diary scene per season or something. Maybe so, to to get the CW to, like, keep greenlighting it. (laughs) Um, Stefan is still having his PTSD safe related nightmares. Mm -hmm. They do exposition about it. Catherine calls for backup and it's Caroline. (laughs) I said that was nice of Catherine, but may have ulterior motives. Mm. Stuff did get a little fishy, but maybe not in the way you had expected. Um, I I think probably everything was above board. <laughs> Caroline brought over a safe for immersion therapy or whatever it's called. I said, <laughs> mm-hmm. literally, he's gonna be immersed in that. That's true. That bad boy. Man, we got lots of pug snores today. The pug is snoring. Elena is at Aaron's door. Aaron says Jesse killed himself. Mm-hmm. Aaron came to Whitmore College to start fresh. He has crap ash in his past. <laughs> he says crap? I don't know. I that. think so. Um, also, when he says that his roommate has killed himself and all this stuff, Elena's just like acting surprised, but actually she's the one who killed Jesse. True that. Which is like a little bit of a bummer. And she was really trying to spare Aaron from having any more deaths in his life because she like mm-hmm. felt bad because she could relate to him and she was trying to prevent... His uh, guardian from getting killed, but instead she just killed his roommate. Like, ah, Elena. Oh. That is funny now that we know about Damon's whole deal. Mm-hmm. That yeah. now, now Elena's helping him in right. a way. I know. Not good. It is funny that Damon is doing all that. Right? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Aaron's like, why are you here if it's not about Jesse? She's there because... Wes is his legal guardian. After his aunt Sarah died, everyone around him ends up dead. Aaron bemoans. Mm-hmm. Elena hasn't seen Damon since last night. He went to talk t- to Maxfield, but she can't find him. Help me find Wes. She pleads. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Big, big pug snore. Oh, yeah. You didn't. I think everyone could have heard that one. Why are you so sleepy? Maxfield and Damon, all right, they're talking about the Augustines. They flash back to Dr. Whitmore in the 50s, experimenting on Damon. Damon tries to compel him, but he's wearing vervain. Is this the watch? Is this Aaron's watch, Mm -hmm. perhaps? Um, Man, he loves stabbing people in the eyes. I know. What a messed up thing. He does that so much in this episode. I know. And they don't really explain why he's targeting the eyes. Like, we know he wants to see, like, how stuff regenerates and how you can use their healing powers. Maybe uh-huh. he has some sort of eye trauma of his own that he wants to fix. I don't know. I mean... But he's, like, obsessed with stabbing people in the eyes. Doesn't he know, like, if he has a family member who needs an ocular transplant, that if he puts these vampire eyes into that person, there's going to be some... Repercussions? Yeah, there's going to be some spooky stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hasn't he seen any horror movies ever? Hasn't he seen The Eye? Oh, my God. That kind of stuff is so scary to me. Yeah. There's actually... I was listening to our um, one of our podcasts. We shout out uh, Kill Streak. Mm-hmm. They're doing the VHS movies right now. Mm-hmm. And there's a VHS segment, uh, I think in VHS 2 maybe, where a guy does that he gets an ocular transplant and then he starts seeing spookies but i probably saw that one because that's what i remember yeah so scary <clears throat> oh, thank you 
Um, yeah, I said this is a bloody episode. Oh, yeah. And I'm not British. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the present. Maxfield trained Jesse to crave vampire blood, not human blood. Right, which is an interesting um, idea, though, still scientifically in this world. Yeah, does it does it nourish you still, though? Because it's dead blood. Hmm, that's a good question. He doesn't, with all his notes that he takes, uh, we don't know how to answer. Mm-hmm. Aaron doesn't know why Jesse would kill himself. Elena thinks it's weird, too. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> why would he do that? <laughs> Um, Megan is the roommate who also died. Elena tells Aaron that Megan was murdered. Maxfield is part of something he did. He forged the death certificate. Yeah, Elena all of a sudden is like coming clean with most things to Aaron. Aaron wants to hear Maxfield's side of the story. I said he's not believing women. (laughs) (laughs) No. Um, but also Elena's lying. Yeah, about she's... about some stuff. Yeah, about some stuff. Elena can't go in the Whitmore house, but Aaron invites her in, and she can enter. Mm-hmm. Aaron owns the building. Mm-hmm. It's funny how he invites her in, and she like goes to take a step, but then she's like, "Who owns this house?" It's mm-hmm. like, well, obviously it's him if it worked when he <laughs> invited you in. Mm-hmm. If she was doubting that, then she shouldn't have tried to walk in after he invited her. She would have been like. There's no way this will work. Yeah. He owns 51% of this <laughs> Whitmore College. Mm-hmm. He's a Whitmore. I know. They took a long time to tell you his last name. They really played you around, like, played around with, I'm not going to tell you my name, and uh, you don't know who I am, and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. He was being, he was being coy. <laughs> um, coy. Coy. I was going to say facetious. <laughs> he is being so coy and facetious. <laughs> Don't ask me how to spell facetious, though. One time I went to a pond and I saw some coy and facetious. <laughs> <laughs> like fishes? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> uh, Elena sees her dad in a picture. That's my dad. That's my dad. <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> Maxfield comes down and injects Elena with vervain. Aaron is like, what is happening? He's never known about this stabbing syringe life that everyone else is so accustomed to. Right. And uh, Maxfield adds insult to injury. He says, I'm glad that her dad didn't live to see this. Mm -hmm. I guess her dad hated vampires. Yeah, he did. And now she is one. Right. And and he's like, good thing he didn't get to see you as a vampire. I know, so rude. Mm Mm-hmm. Stefan doesn't want to do the safe thing. Yeah, I agree. Get, <laughs> I wouldn't he, he's no like, thank I don't want to get in that safe. That's the thing that I'm having trouble with. Right. Caroline is mad about Elena killing Jesse. Stefan has PTSD, but they tell him get in the safe. <laughs> Aaron says uh that he's kidnapping. Aaron says that Maxfield is kidnapping Elena. Maxfield says he studies vampires. Elena is one of them. He has all these stakes and stuff. I know. And, like, Aaron must be so confused. He's, like, having to come to terms with all this so quickly. Like, what do you mean vampires? Why do you have stakes? Like, what's happening? This work has been going on for generations. Your dad trained me in it. Aaron's dad? (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Maxfield gives him folders. <laughs> this is what your family fought for. Your legacy is these folders. <laughs> Ash, is your legacy a bunch of folders? Maybe digital ones. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> Yours is. Uh, yeah. And I mean, then printed versions of what was on those folders. Documents. Documents. My legacy is my children. Thank you very much. And all the children I have taught. Yep. Mine too. Mine is all the hours of television <laughs> that I've created. <laughs> created. <clears throat> and podcasting entertainment. Oh, of course. And folders. <laughs> and folders. And books. Yep. And screenplays. Um, yeah, go to Amazon, type in Peter L. Harmon, buy some of those books. Buy his legacy. <laughs> Mid, mid-show plug. <clears throat> um... Elena is in jail. 
next to Damon. Maxfield. Well, it's not like jail. A dungeon. Like they're in a like a cell. A dungeon underneath the school. Mm-hmm. In the underneath the Whitmore house. School dungeon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't say jail. If that's like makes it sound like they're in like the county jail. Maxfield is carrying out the Augustine tradition: vampire torture. <laughs> <laughs> He got sold out in 1953, tortured by Whitmore. Damon's saying he was in the cell for five years. Were you shocked when you heard that? Um, no, because they can just say anything. It's fake. But, and also five years to him is nothing. Yeah, but still, five years in that dungeon? Yeah, I mean, it sucks for sure, but I wasn't surprised. I was just like, oh, this is what they're saying now. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) This is what they chose to do. All right. Enzo, Ash, some guy named Enzo. Enzo. A soldier in Europe during World War II. Oh, they were a little cagey about what, <laughs> where in Europe <laughs> and uh, what he was doing and for whom. Okay. All right, brought him back from overseas in the jail for 10 years. Oof. That's double the time. I know, it's <laughs> a lot. Enzo is all about revenge. Damon draws his initials that we've seen on the wall. Mm-hmm. Elena says, Wes worked with her dad, yes. Dad was Augustine, too. Mm-hmm. Her dad was a vampire hunter and town doctor. Mm-hmm. Did we know he was a vampire hunter? Mm-hmm. No. Well, his son also is one. Jeremy. Oh, yeah. I mean, he wasn't like a... Like a um Official vampire hunter. He wasn't like, one of the five hunters. No, but he was like Alaric mm-hmm. being a, a, trying to catch them and figure out what's going on with them and study them and stuff. Yep. He was sort of a Pokemon I know. Type. I, I thought about that too when I said gotta catch him. Oh, God. <laughs> sort of Ash, like, Ash Ketchum, right? Isn't that his last name? Yeah. And then you gotta catch them all. Yep. But it's like. I'm sure in the original Japanese, it's not that on the nose. Because it's very silly. But who knows? Who knows uh, if it's on the nose? <laughs> <laughs> who can tell? They're weirdly laying on the ground in this prison. Yeah. In this dungeon. Damon is going to bust them out of, of prison, of the jail, of the dungeon. <laughs> the cell. It's called The Cell, Pete. This episode. Oh, The Cell. Okay. (laughs) And they are like two little Golgi bodies (laughs) trapped within their cell walls. I'm really trying hard to think about what these other parts of the cell are. Like, we had to draw so many diagrams of a cell. Mm Mm-hmm. What are the ones that are, like, zigzaggy? Is that the mitochondria? Um... The um, mitochondria is in there. I think they had mimosas or something in there. <laughs> I think that was part of it. I feel like I need to know. I'll have to look it the, up later. The uh, vas deferens. No. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> Those are in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, all right. Hmm. Stefan is in the safe. Caroline and Catherine are looking on. Catherine is teasing Caroline about getting with Stefan. <laughs> yeah, she's like, have you ever hooked up before? And she was like, well, too bad. He's really good and bad. Stefan is freaking out. Catherine and Caroline trying to figure out how to help Stefan. Yeah, but they're not like talking to him or comforting him. They're kind of ignoring him in the <laughs> safe while they're talking. Yeah, they said, we need a B story. Damon, so let's um, drag this safe out. One more ep. Mm-hmm. Damon is having torture flashbacks, a lot of torture flashbacks this season. Mm-hmm. Enzo helped him stay alive and hold on to his humanity. Enzo is into the ladies mm-hmm. and the cars. <laughs> I mean, Enzo Ferrari, I think that's Ferrari's first name. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I believe so. I never knew that. I don't know. Enzo Ferrari, that sounds right. Couldn't tell you. This guy likes cars. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the, the second I don't know that's more intense is hilarious. I don't know. I don't know. 
<laughs> you know, people in uh, in movies, they always have double dialogue like that. Uh-huh. It's rarely in real life. It's rarely in real life, but that was hilarious. But sometimes it is. Sometimes oh it is. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it is, though. I know, <clears throat> but that's really funny. Maggie is a girl he <laughs> likes. We never see Maggie, though. No. They give a shout-out to this Maggie, and we don't even get to see her? (laughs) We don't even get to see her. They couldn't even (laughs) pay, like, a day player or background actor? Maybe she comes into it later. She was kind to Enzo. Oh, but she left. So she had already left before Damon was there, so Mm -hmm. Enzo was just, like, in hindsight, Mm -hmm. well, we couldn't get a flashback. (laughs) Flashbacks on flashbacks? I know. There's a lot of... That would be a lot of flashbacks. <clears throat> I just... What if it was Maggie Gyllenhaal? We'll never know. <laughs> Maybe. We'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was Maggie Ferrari. All right. This is getting silly. Ash, Damon says a relationship between a vampire and a human would be doomed. That's what he said in the past. But that <clears throat> is his... That was his present for a little bit, or trying to be. Yeah. Whitmore comes in. Enzo takes the torture for Damon. Whitmore loves stabbing eyes. Damon asks... (laughs) (laughs) Damon asks why he's doing it. Whitmore wants to use them and put their healing to use. Oh, maybe he just wants... Yeah, he wants to figure out how their eyes are healing and then heal some eyes. Right, but also... But why the eye? Like, pick a different part. I would. Also, he was a dumb idiot because you could have just used his their blood mm-hmm. and healed everything without poking their eyeballs out. Well, Enzo and Damon didn't want to pipe up and say that. Hey, you don't have to stab my eye. Just take my blood. Yeah. <laughs> Did they have syringes back then in the 50s? Probably. Yeah, you don't need to take my eyes. <laughs> just take my blood and you'll be fine. Look, you can even cut my freaking palm like I know like you want to. Like all the way across. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To cut my palm, I'll do the thing where I squeeze it into a cup. All right, everyone's eyes will be healed. <laughs> um, Timmy, what was his name? What was uh, S- Secret Stefan's name? Silas? No, I didn't know what you were talking about. Yes, yeah, Silas. Silas can sip it out of a big gulp. Mm-hmm. Everyone will be good. The secret, Stefan. <laughs> um, they, yeah, Whitmore wants to put their healing to use. Elena hopes Stefan figures it out, but he's in a safe location. <laughs> <laughs> Elena hopes. <laughs> Elena hopes that Stefan will come save them. Uh-huh. But too bad he's in a safe location. That was your joke you wrote. Yeah. But then you didn't remember it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stefan doesn't know this place exists. Damon never told him. Mm-mm. Crazy they went to that school. Crazy that, like, Elena and Caroline and them and Bonnie even yeah. went to the school. And Bonnie partly as a ghost, partly as a newly undead. And Damon person. wasn't like, um. Right. Um, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Whitmore. Well, you can see, like, all these memories come flashing back to him once he sees that the blood with the numbers on it. Mm -hmm. He's like, but I was number blah, 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 blah. 21051. There you go. I think. So it wasn't, like, totally in his front of his mind. Flashback to New Year's Eve party. They showed off the vampires. Mrs. Fell is there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the original, like the, not the originals, that's the other people. The, the founders. The founders are mm-hmm. always at these parties doing different stuff, and there's just different generations of them, and I think that's fun. You just hear so-and-so Fell and mm-hmm. so-and-so Gilbert. Lockwood. Yeah, the Lockwoods. It's fun. The guests drank from the vampires. So... Enzo and Damon do this one year, and then they come up with a plan, and for a whole year, Damon drinks two rations to build up strength for New Year's Eve. The way they figure that out, they play rock, paper, stone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't, not Wait, rock, paper, rock, paper, stone. stone. No, it was stone. He said it backwards. We usually say rock, paper, scissors. Uh-huh. He says stone, stone, 
Paper, scissors. Paper. But I don't even know that he sa- I think he said a different word, like stone parchment <laughs> knife or something. <laughs> I think they had paper in the 50s. <laughs> Uh, crude rock, other crude rock. <laughs> Stone parchment. <laughs> and uh, deer skin. <laughs> yeah, it was very much like that. <laughs> in, in 1953. No, but Enzo, Enzo wasn't born in 1953, you know? Right. Like, he could be saying some old stuff. He could. Damon wins, he got to get strong. I know, and Enzo is nearly dead. Well, we thought he was dead. He, well, I mean, like, from not drinking this blood. Like, yeah. He had to take a couple drips here and there. He had to lick the shot glass. <laughs> yeah. Damon so he had didn't desiccate. Da- de- yeah, Damon had to baby bird him. <laughs> Some fun. Maxfield gives Aaron a birthday present, great grandfather's watch, safety precaution, vervain watch. His parents were killed <laughs> by vampires. That's why Maxfield continued Aaron's dad's work. Aaron socks him in the face, grabs the gun and the watch. Mm-hmm. Catherine wakes Stefan up. She's in the safe with Stefan. I'm like, how big is this safe? Right. This is this was giving me a Titanic, end of Titanic vibes. Uh-huh. I was like... But they both could fit. She can't move over and the wheel can't get on the door. <laughs> Right? I'm going to have been like, lay on this door. I'm going to lay directly on top of your body. Right. <laughs> that would be good for warmth also. Exactly. And we could smooch. They could. <laughs> Me and Leo, I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you want to smooch Leo in um, the, the nope. movie. <laughs> no. Nope. The Killers of the Flower Moon. That you said, his tea. You said that's his best look, actually. <laughs> no, I did not. And you also liked his attitude. <laughs> yeah. And you said it was almost as good as his attitude in Django. Oh, my gosh. Stop saying this stupid stuff. Um, She's in the safe. There's too much space. <laughs> the safe is too big. Yeah. They're in a safe space. Mm-hmm. These millennials. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Catherine's... Catherine's in there. She's a human. She's dying. She says, don't kill me. And Stefan starts freaking out. So their plan is like, Catherine gets in the safe. Stefan will freak out. And he'll be calm because he won't want to kill her. Right. Because it's like part of his emotions right now is like dedicated towards preserving Catherine's life. Which is silly because how many years have they been like, let's try to kill Catherine. Right. And now that she's human, they're like, don't kill yourself. <clears throat> Elena and Damon are still locked up and um, Elena wants to know how Damon got out of there I know Damon does not want to tell her and Damon does tell her <laughs> he does but he doesn't want to at the next party in 1958 Enzo is starved Damon is strong Whitmore wants to toast the new year with vampire blood who doesn't you know, isn't that like so hypocritical too? Like these vampires, they're terrible. We need to study them. Blah blah blah. It's almost as if we're gonna drink their blood though and have a party. It's almost as if these types of people are hypocrites. Oh, <laughs> like maybe are, the like um, other founders of other things who, right. who would um, delve into certain things that they spoke against. <laughs> Both in the past and modern day. I know it's a it still happens. Mm-hmm. So um, he takes Damon out. Damon breaks his own arm to get out of the handcuffs. Handcuffs. He heals. He gouges out Whitmore's eyes. Yeah, and that's good though. Poetic justice. Mm-hmm. Um, what's uh, what's those rings? What's the uh oh. What's the book where it's like the guy is going in the... Oh, Dante. Dante's Inferno. Mm-hmm. I, was, I was like, is it Damon's Inferno? Because <laughs> that... I was like, what are you saying? That book's all about divine retribution. Mm. It's like, these people did this, and now in hell they're doing this. Oh, okay. But Damon does some divine retribution in a way. Mm-hmm. Damon's Inferno. That's good. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you got there for yourself. Yeah. I usually do, <laughs> but um, got to bring something literary to this 
to this pod, Ash, if nothing else, for the, even, for the even children. Even it's based on books. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. These kids aren't reading these books. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We do need everyone to be reading books. Yep. All right, he killed... Our kids are reading books, though. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. If, if we're going to do a quick um, grimoire du jour moment, <laughs> <laughs> me and one of our kids just read, like... <clears throat> Captain Underpants and like the terrifying toilet 2000. <laughs> yeah. It was good. I'm glad that you were the one to read that with him because I was not interested. Yeah, that's good. That's the first one of those I've really read the whole thing and it was good. <laughs> but toilets in there. Mm-hmm. Not for me. Speaking of toilets, where did these guys go to the bathroom when they were in this Augustine jail? Well, they got out for experiments, so maybe they got to go to the bathroom. And they, I guess they were only drinking a little bit of blood so they wouldn't have to go that much. That's true, actually. <laughs> Maybe they didn't need to go at all. Um, Could have been part of the scientific study. Yeah. But you think while Elena was in there with Damon, Damon was like, we don't watch. <laughs> 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 all right. That's weird. Okay. Also, they're vampires, so they could go real fast, like... Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Ash, speaking of people... Uh, never mind. People go... I watched the movie The Flash. Oh, yeah. It was not my jam. No. I'd rather read The Terrifying Toilet <laughs> several times in a row. <laughs> oh, man. No, there's some all right stuff in there. Um... I don't know where we're at. Damon crushed... He got his hand out of the... Yeah, he kills everyone. A fire starts, and I said probably burns up Enzo. Enzo's in a hot vervain cage. Yeah. We learned that he did not get burnt up, or maybe he got burnt up and then healed. Yeah, we don't know yet. But um, when they kept trying to open up the cage... Mm-hmm. I'm they like, couldn't. why aren't they looking for a key, like, instead? Of try- oh, instead yeah, of just look- trying to pull, they're, like, trying to use their vampire, like, pull it, it open, but it's for vain. I would have immediately stopped trying to pull it open and look for how, yeah. how did, uh... Whitmore must Whitmore have had a key. It. Yeah, and he was just laying down on the ground. Mm-hmm. Damon saved himself and not Enzo. He turned off his emotions and let his friend die, and that bummed everybody out. Yeah. Isn't it interesting to see the acting moment when they turn off their emotions. Like, because you can literally see it happen. Yeah, he just gets all sultry. But it's like, I think it's good acting to see that. Look, also, this looks like a little person. (laughs) I know. (laughs) That's on purpose. (laughs) He has a little, like, pen holder thing, and it has sunglasses on it, and it looks like it's a smiling person with hair and a mouth. Maybe I'll put that on the Instagram. Maybe, maybe that'll drive people to the Instagram. It's really funny. I like it. It's very silly. You have a happy pen holder. <laughs> That's what they call me. <laughs> All right. Still in the safe. I want to even skip the safe part. I don't care about it. Well, I know. Don't skip it. We don't skip stuff Catherine here. thinks Stefan is in love with... <laughs> Ellen, (laughs) Elon, (laughs) and he's miserable. She's an excuse for him to stay in Mystic Falls. Catherine's like, kill me. Bring you back to the present. She's trying to bring him back to the present moment. Instead of him attacking her. Are you going to feed on me or save my life? Stefan fights the urge to suck her neck. Instead, they suck face. (laughs) They almost do. There's some tension. There's some tension. (laughs) And then Caroline lets them out. All right. Aaron goes to the cell. <laughs> there you go. Sees Elena and Damon. Damon calls him Mini Wes. Aaron has a gun. Aaron thinks Elena killed Megan. Because they, because he was just finding out just now that Megan was killed by a vampire. Or did Elena kill his parents, which what? Also, but, that, I mean, he's just like jumping... To conclusions, but it makes sense because he oh, oh sorry because <laughs> he only knows a little bit of information. Like he only knows that he knows of two vampires. Yeah. So he's just like, it must be you. Yeah. Which he's fifty percent right. Mm-hmm. Um, but still, it's like there's hundreds, millions of us. For real. 
but he didn't know But then that. Damon says, it was all me, killed everybody. Back in 1953, he plots with Enzo to kill the whole Whitmore family, except one, to carry on the name, then continue killing Whitmores. Damon has killed so many Whitmores, even Aunt Sarah in Charleston. Right, and his parents, and yeah. Aaron shoots Damon, mm-hmm. which he doesn't know about that, really. Mm-mm. Caroline wants to move the safe. Stefan is talking to Catherine. She was right. Focusing on pain, not the breakup with Elena, helped him. Mm-hmm. They get eroticized. <laughs> <laughs> they begin to smooch. Caroline leaves a message for Elena. Here's Stefan and Catherine hooking up. No, but they don't smooch. They almost do. Now they do, for real. Oh, when they're out of the thing. Yeah, okay, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, then they're... Oh, yeah, she overhears them. She's like... Using her vampire hearing, which is mm-hmm. just so silly. And they are hooking up, yeah. Aaron calls Wes to tell him what he found out. He has the watch. He puts it on. Damon wakes up. He has so much blood on the floor from being shot in the head. Yeah. Elena is gone. She's in Maxfield's lair. I know. That's not good. Lair. 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 Enzo is still alive and laying there. I said, he's going to be mad at Damon. Hello, love. (laughs) Hello. I know. What did you think when you saw Enzo just there immediately? Um, I I felt like, oh, that's why Ash cared about him. (laughs) Because you immediately like, Enzo! I was like, if he's only in this one episode and dies, he's probably not. Mm, sorry, gave you a, <laughs> I gave you a spoiler by a sec, for a second. I've been waiting for Enzo. Mm-hmm. I like his character a lot. Well, there we go. We know he's going to be around. Well, he's already wonderful in this episode. I guess. He just likes the ladies. He likes cars. No, but then he's like tries to help Damon stay alive, and he's got a plan and everything. Yeah, that's true. He, At least in this episode, he wasn't like... And then, ha ha ha, I have a secret thing going on. No, he was just like... He and then like, he even sacrificed himself for Damon when, the, when Whitmore came in and was like, who's next? Yeah. And Damon was like, oh, I can't handle it. And he's like, you know, takes one for the team, basically. Mm-hmm. Yep. He's a nice guy. In this episode, he was, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Fangs. Mm, let's see, was anything jumping out at me? I think this is a solid... 1.5 filler up. Mm, really? I really liked this episode. Filler up. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to do like a 1.9. Mm-hmm. I, I really liked it. You know I love the flashbacks and I like the explaining of the stories and how people got from this to that and their legacies and such. Yeah, my, I liked how Damon really killed all those people. That's a diabolical plan. It is. He's got, Enzo he's got did, a grudge. Enzo did say you have to be creative with your, um, what's it called when you get retaliation or whatever? Revenge. Revenge, yeah. Damon's like, I'm going to kill all his family. And he was like, boring. And he was like, <laughs> all but one. Mm-hmm. Every year, forever. <laughs> oh, good plan. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's new. I haven't heard of that before. Mm-hmm. And the little, like, Flashing scenes of them torturing and stuff was a little bit more like horror ish. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was good. Mm-hmm. What are your predictions? All right, Enzo, like I said, is gonna be mad at Damon, mm-hmm. but I bet that they squash the beef okay. relatively quickly in favor of getting out of there again, <laughs> and probably. I mean, if he's been in there for fifty years, that sucks. I know. So um, he's probably going to, they're going to do some rampaging, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Hopefully Aaron doesn't get caught up into it. He's kind of an innocent guy. Yeah. He will have been in there for like 60 years, right? Because he was in there already 10 years when Damon got in there. Enzo, yeah. Yeah. But uh, hopefully Aaron doesn't catch many strays mm-hmm. for his family's legacy because so far he seems chill vibes. Right. Um, Catherine and Stefan are going to do their their thing. I know. Isn't that interesting? Bonnie and Jeremy weren't even in this episode, so I forget what they're doing. They're hooking up somewhere else. Yeah, they're, they're signing u- up for classes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're using outdated technology. <laughs> <laughs> Together. <laughs> Together somewhere. Mm-hmm. 
like, let's call Elena from our video phone. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? What's that? <laughs> yeah, it's a phone that you turn inside out. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> oh, Samsung did it. <laughs> like, what? It folds into thirds. Why? Um, okay. I feel like you hit all the bases. Uh, yeah. I mean, where are we at? Episode 9... There'll probably be some mid-season new thing happening. So this will be like 10, 11, 12 will be like Enzo, 12, something weird will happen that we never even thought of. (laughs) And then they'll deal with that for like four episodes. You have learned the arc. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Do you say art or arc? Arc. Okay. You have learned the art. You have learned the art. Ash, what uh you said you had a no. a game. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Maybe some not. stone parchment knife. Ready? Okay. <laughs> we tied. Yeah. You win with your knife. <laughs> oh my your knife beat my, my parchment. My two knives. <laughs> <clears throat> you got any plurgs? Um Birthday month? birthday month you know that's fun for my birthday buy my books yay do it yeah that's it happy birthday soon buy the books (laughs) it's in several weeks (laughs) but still buy the books buy them please